First off, how the hell do we pronounce the name of this game? I've always said theatre rhythm. Square Enix PR have been known to say it like this, but the game's producer has been filmed saying theatre rhythm. I'm going to trust him for now. Theatre Rhythm Final Fantasy Curtain Call is a rhythm action game for the Nintendo 3DS. It's the sequel to Theatre Rhythm Final Fantasy, and it's a sequel that expanded on the first game so, so much. If you've played games like Elite Beat Agents or the Hatsune Miku games, you'll know what you're doing with Theatre Rhythm straight away. But if you've been a mad Final Fantasy fan for most of your life like me, this might just become one of your favourite 3DS games. So on a basic level, Theatre Rhythm involves tapping the touchscreen or using the face buttons on the 3DS to play along with a selection of music from the Final Fantasy series. You'll tap in rhythm, follow moving paths with your stylus, and flick your stylus or thumbstick in different directions in rhythm with the icons on screen. Pretty standard fare for this kind of game, but what sets Theatre Rhythm apart from other rhythm games is its slavish effort to make every little thing in the game relate to Final Fantasy in some way. It's impressive the lengths they've gone to. Obviously all the songs are from Final Fantasy games, but we're not just talking Final Fantasy 6 and 7 and 8 here. You've got Final Fantasy 1 through 14, you've got sequels like Final Fantasy 10 2 and Lightning Returns Final Fantasy 13 3, then you've got deep cuts like Crystal Chronicles and Mystic Quest, you've got the Dissidia games and Final Fantasy Type 0. Absolutely everything is here and every game has multiple songs to choose from. The selection is absolutely massive. And of course, if that's not enough, the game will happily sell you more songs via the eShop. It's a genuinely impressive selection. You also build a team of heroes from characters taken from every Final Fantasy game. The little chibi recreations of characters like Terra and Squall and Cloud are just adorable, and it just brings this awesome style to the whole experience. You'll equip your characters with Phoenix Downs and potions and other items that will encourage various summons to happen during the stages. Yep, that's right, you'll be summoning Knights of the Round and Bahamut while tapping along to One Winged Angel and the field music from Final Fantasy IV. The various difficulties on offer bring a challenge whatever your ability with rhythm games and whatever your knowledge with the music. Once you crank it up to expert mode, you're really having to work hard to make it through the stages. Once you finish your song, your characters will level up and you'll receive a score and some crystals. Earn certain milestones of crystals and new characters will be unlocked. You'll unlock new character art and music to listen to in the in-game museum. There are a ton of unlockables in the game, and these are the real carrot on a stick that will keep you playing the game long after you've heard all of the music. As a huge Final Fantasy fanboy, I can't really say enough good things about Theory Rhythm Final Fantasy Curtain Call. It blew me away when I first experienced it, and it's still an absolute blast to jump into. These songs soundtrack the last 20 years of my life. Music can be so powerful, and this game uses these songs that are loved by so many people in such a clever and impactful way. I absolutely love playing it, and if you're anything like me, you might too. Absolutely fully recommended.